now we learn about how to implement the query parameter dollar filter we can also consider is this test case as a how to implement the select options into the OEDA service URL. So here we'll try to pass the date range to the field ER date. Whenever we are using the date range, so along with the date, we have to use date and time, then only it will work. So we'll see how to implement this into the service URL. For that, go to our OEDA service. First, before implementing, we'll just pass the record and we'll see whether system is giving any output or not based on the data which is entered. Select our entity sets and take an example. I want to pass the query parameter that is dollar filter. Dollar filter is not here, so we have to add this manually. So how to add for the question mark dollar filter equals to the next our field name. So our field name is here ER date and the range which we want to pass. Suppose I want to pass it is greater than equal to the right date time quotation mark. Then give the date that is 2019 hyphen 03 15. This is my first date. Here you can see this is ER date greater than equal to date and time and 2019. Here additionally we have to add this time. Generally, while working into the app app, we pass only the date. But when you're using the OLTA service, even though if you don't want to pass any time, just pass 0000, but the syntax is like this only. Otherwise, system will give the error. So after the date, here we have to add the time that is T00. Zero, zero. So this is my initial range and I want to give less than equal to again we have to write date and time comma uh, quotation mark let's say 2019 this time I'm giving as 05-30-P00 as a time like this okay now if i execute this url copy this url if i execute this url okay it is giving the bad request let me check my syntax and er date oh, i forgot to add the er date and also replace the hyphen with colon anyway this is this is not going to work because I not implement the method yet. But without method, we're just checking how system will behave. And here, let's say ER date less than equal to date and time as per this value. Execute this. Now, even if you pass the small date range, but we can see system has given the complete output because we need to implement the logic through which system will read the select option and the data will get filtered. For that, put a breakpoint into a class, go to ACGW, expand our OLTA service, runtime artifacts, go to DPC extension class, DPC extension class, and the dollar filter will be triggered into the entity set module of the respective entity set. Do click here and put a breakpoint. We'll observe how we can read that select value. Now again, this time, execute the method. So here we can see the breakpoint is triggered. So if you observe here, into the local tab. So here we can see in the IT filter select options, there is a importing parameter which that is it underscore filter underscore select options double click on this so you can see this importing parameter contain the property that is the er date and the select options 
is again into a table that is ibt the date which we have passed from the url this means that to implement the dollar filter or we can say to implement the select options so inside this block we have to read the select options from this importing parameter and based on that we need to apply the where clause in this method first let's execute go back now we'll do the implementation go to the change mode here this is the importing parameter that is the it underscore filter underscore select options so if you see here this is the line type for that this is the line type and inside that we have the select options so we'll do first data declaration one by one for all the required fields so as i want to put the very clause into the date range so first i will create a date range that is r underscore let's say er date type range of let's say vb ak er date and second i will create a work area for that let's say ls underscore er date like line of that is r underscore er date seven check any error no error so first i'm defining a date range for the er date second as we need to read the value from this it filter select options which is having the line type of this type which i copied not declare that data let's say ls underscore filter underscore select underscore options type this line type whenever it is a structure we can see here s and if it is table we can see here t observe here the t is for table and s is for structure okay so that's why we went inside this method and we copied the respective structure now after this if you see this structure again we have to read the select options which is of type this table okay this is the table type so what we'll do we'll again create, create an internal table which will hold this table value for that copy this go back here this time it is lt underscore select underscore options of type this select option table and now we'll declare the work area for the same so this is having the line type of this if you see this this is sign option low high which generally we use for the select option range so after declaring the internal table place the clever work area that is select options type this work area seven so check if any error no error so what we have done first we have defined the date range for the er date which we will be passing into the very clause of this table select query and then to read this table first we have defined a work area now we have seen that this internal table record also contain a nested structure that is select option which is an internal table for that we have defined an internal table type and the work area for the same now from here we will start our code logic read read the select options so how to write the logic that is read table that is it underscore filter options into ls underscore filter options with key property equals to er date so here we are we are trying to read 
the value with the field e added whether it is exist or not so let's say if ls underscore filter options say property is not initial means if this contains some value while debugging we can monitor everything so first we'll write the logic now what we have to do we have to assign the value range here this is our internal table for select options equals to select options so and check no error so first we have read we have checked whether the filter condition contain any select option with er dead and if it is satisfied this condition satisfied then we are reading the select options now after that we have to make a loop at this lt underscore select options into the work area which we have defined for that select options which contain the value like low sign option low high here and loop now what is our task here here we need to populate all these range values into the date range which we have defined this is date range which we have defined ls underscore er date and r underscore er date so what we will do here that is ls underscore er date that is sign equal to ls underscore select option sign second is ls underscore er date options equals to ls underscore select options options next is the low value this is generally simple value range concepts so because all this it is very important to have the period knowledge of sap abap otherwise it will be very difficult to learn the old directly without abap knowledge so we are just reading all the values of the select options hi <coughs> equals to ls underscore select options hi now append this ls underscore er dead to the date range that is r underscore er dead always clear the work area any local work area to avoid any kind of error so here what we what we have done our code is done initial code is done so what is our requirement whenever we'll pass the date from the url parameter we found that we are getting that value into the it underscore filter set options we have to read this value so that we can use into the table there's no more option using the io underscore tag request context but initially better go with this option so we done the data declaration after that we are reading the our filter uh, it filter select options into local work area with the property then we are assigned the select options after that by making a loop at select options we have populated the value range into the r underscore er date this means that in er date we'll get the value the date range now modify our select query where that is the er date in r underscore er date save check activate so before testing put a breakpoint here to monitor all the values how the system is working go to the service maintenance right click click on maintain yes go to the sap gateway client select our entity set by default method will be get keep that as it is so here we need to add the parameter that is 
dollar filter equals to the field name er date then the operator that is greater than equal to give the date transition to pass to zero one nine zero three one five t that is time by default pass zero zero and again the er date is less than equal to quotation mark so two zero one nine hyphen zero five hyphen three zero this time zero zero colon zero zero colon zero zero so here we have built our select query first by passing the er date which is greater than equal to 15th of march 2019 and it is less than equal to the 30th of may 2019 execute the method bad request again i think i forget or i passed the wrong wrong data let me check cross check with my oh the important part i forget that is dead and time so this kind of error system will give if you forget any standard sequence as i explained earlier for date and time it is must we should pass this date and date time and here also we have to add date time now execute this so this time we can see our breakpoint is successfully triggered go to desktop 3 yes this contain one value double click to check the values er date and the select options press f5 yes system has found the property now read the select options so here the select option ibt now by making a loop at work area we are appending the value into the er date so here you can see in the er date we got that date range now from this vpak first check total how many records are there so total 27 records are there and i'm passing the date from 15th of march to the 30th of 5 till here so we should get one two three four around five record only we should get go back to the debugger f5 check the entry sets yes here we can see the exactly five records based on the date logic which we have passed check the output yes here, here we can see the only five records in the output this is the one first record second record, third record, fourth record, and the fifth record. So this is how we can implement the dollar filter or we can call it as the implement, implementing of the delta range. Let's try whether the dollar count works here or not. Execute. Yes, you can see here, suppose before getting the data or data in the output, first we want to see how many records are there in this particular data range. So along with this dollar filter, we can pass the slash dollar count. So first system will give the number of records. Then if you want, we can trigger the, we can fire the query with the dollar filter options. So this is how we can implement dollar filter option. One of the very important Query parameter in the SAP OETA service. Thank you.